No nonsense, no gimmicks, no flips, just fists. Two men who proudly carry collective chips on their shoulders, and they've managed to use that, that bitterness to bring themselves to the big stage where it's their time to shine. Rough and tough as they come. Old school oh, romance. WWE Universe, don't you dare be sour. Clap for your tag champs and feel the power. It's a new day. Yes, it is. <laughs> Michael Corey, time to hop aboard the positivity bus because the new day is here. I hope your positivity bus drives right into a bridge embankment. Take that back. And the bell rings and the doctor of defenstration is ready. Hope there aren't any windows around here. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. Time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Nailed it. Over oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. What a stop. Good grief. Corey, a few 
few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, you're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. This might be it! Oh my! What a stomp! Good grief! In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. All right, his feet are on the ropes. His feet are on the ropes. I expected as much from him tonight. And the champ kicks out. Wow. What a stop. Good grief. Harsh impact. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is to... His shoulders are down. The dragon suplex. Beautiful technique. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Dropped him with a big shoulder tag. What a strike. Ooh, what impact. It's got Dawson on the defensive now. It looks to me like... You've got to believe this one's over. I knew it was only a matter of time. He's made... Uh -oh. Oh, incredible elevation from the big man. This could be the turning point, Cole. Has his opponent up. This is about to be over because here comes the big ending from Big E. I'm not sure how much he has left. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Champion. Shoulders on the mat. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Ooh-wee. Well, that will hinder your modeling career. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Wicked clothesline! Dragon suplex! This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. Exhausting a lot of energy here with this cradle. Yeah, but more than likely it will pay off. Here we go, Scott Dawson setting it up. Wilder is fired up. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Talk about great tag teams. We can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Oh, right to the body. That hurt. Oh. <laughs> Xavier Woods tagged in. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the Early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. 
In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call. But all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Wilder's looking to finish this. Oh, nasty impact. Man, Wilder is feeling it right here. Boom, what impact. What a stomp. Good grief. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw it. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. He's got the shoulders down. This might be it. Oh, my. The challenger in some big trouble here. This could be the end of him at any moment right now. If he could just make it to his corner, these guys still have a chance. But if not, I don't see how he can overcome all this punishment and win. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. His power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The shoulder up. Wilder kicks out because he still has more fists to deliver. Harsh impact. Using the elbow as a weapon. Sun's cover here. Big E quickly getting the shoulder up. It's gonna take more than that. Is it. Big E beginning to stumble. It appears his opponent has his number right now. At this point, they both look to be up. He's going for the pin. Boom, right on the ear of the ends of Gary. A kick out. This one's not over yet. Just needs to do more damage. knows what's good for him and cut that stuff out pretty quick. Corey, it's nice to see you remain objective as a broadcast journalist. Many people still remember Big E's time as Dolph Ziggler's bodyguard. I don't think the powerhouse is done winning WWE gold either. Big E's achieved a great deal in WWE as a singles competitor and as a member of a tag team. I think the sky's the limit. They don't call him big for nothing. Ooh! Drop down. Woods is showboating, hamming it up, and the crowd loves it. Vicious strike. And now Scott Dawson is getting in his opponent's head. He can't with boom. Dawson takes out the knee. Uh-oh. Oh, man, the champ looks absolutely out of it right now. Oh, man, Big E is in serious trouble now. Power bomb! Beautiful technique. What are they going to do here? Closing moments, maybe this match. And you got to believe this one's over. Just when you thought Scott Dawson was out of this one. But now, can Scott Dawson capitalize? There have been times in sports entertainment where unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and be Here's the cover. Took him out at the knee. They did it. Wow, what a match. Tag teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell.
these superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. Look at them go. You are not going to see many matches as good as that one. These superstars rose to the occasion and gave us more than we ever dreamed of. Here are your winners and new SmackDown Tag Team and Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, the Revival. And it's Dash Wilder leading the team to victory. They make it look so effortless in there. What an amazing duo. These teams really put it all out on the line in this tag title match. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.